your first thoughts when you see this. <laughs> what, do you, what, do you, what do you think? <laughs> I honestly that don't know what sequence. to think. <laughs> that, I, I, I think of... Uh, <laughs> obviously, oh. I get the urinating because it says it on the box. <laughs> so the reason that we're talking yeah, about... Whoops. Yeah, so the reason that we're talking about the uh, Naked Gun is because Naked Gun 2 and a half was released back in June 28th, 1991. It made $192 million at the box office on a $23 million budget. While the first Naked Gun, that was released in December uh, on December 2nd, 1988, that one made $152.4 million on a $12 million budget. The now, fact that he went handsless is impressive. Exactly. Now, do you remember what the full name of each of those movies are? Some police squad. Land, do you remember? Naked Gun, wasn't it? Uh, from the Files of Police Squad. Hey, oh, the right there. From the Files of Police Squad. Is that and Reggie Jackson? Yeah, you don't remember yeah, that? He was oh, in the movie. Oh, don't yeah. worry. We're going to we're gonna get to Reggie Jackson here in just a minute, too. But do you remember what the second one, the what the full title was? It was a two and a half smell of fear. It was two and a half. The guy next to me is going to kill his wife in the future and get away with murder. Nope. The naked uh. gun, two and a half, the smell of fear. Well, I mean, in all reality, OJ Simpson was in the first one too. Undercover guy mm. right there. And he was amazing. He was so good in that movie. You like the poster where it says here, you've read the ad. Now see the movie. <laughs> 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 so... The, the first movie was originally going to be called Police Squad. It was based on the TV show, but it sounded too close to Police Academy, so they ultimately mm. went with The Naked Gun. Now, in the first movie, the actress who plays the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II, she made a Clearly living as an, English. She made a living as an impersonator. Impersonating Queen Elizabeth? Yep. Jeanette, Jeanette Charles once got Here a portrait top. of herself painted as a gift for her husband, and the artist told her how much she looked like the queen. She ended up on multiple shows and, and movies, including European Vacation and Austin oh, Powers and Goldmember. Okay. I wonder if they're like, slightly related. You never know, but then don't forget that one. <laughs> Look at that guy's a face behind him. Just supposed to be this the, guy the right prince. here. Yeah, <laughs> his eyes are about to pop out of his fucking skull. And here's this one for Frank. Was Reggie Jackson retired from baseball by the time that they filmed the movie? When was this film? It was eighty-seven, eighty-eight, eighty-eight, eighty-eight. Oh. No. It was filmed. It was filmed in '88, and um, it was released in '88. I think he retired in '89, didn't he? Yeah, no, I think he was still playing. No, he retired in '87. Ooh. Oh. And his last season, he was actually an Oakland Athletic, not a California Angel. All right. I got one more did he picture ever play here. For the Angels? What's that? Did he ever play for the Angels? Yeah, he did. He did. He actually yeah, he did. did the year before in 1986. Wow. Okay. And I have a short coming out that's going to be uh, a reel that's going to be on all my different channels. That's about the shit that Reggie Jackson went through playing high school football and how it got to the point where they basically told him, you're never going to walk again. Hmm. So hmm. look out for that. That's why one, he came to game gentlemen. with guns. Huh? So that's why he came to games with guns. Yes, exactly. It was to kill the queen. <laughs> Wasn't the gun hmm. hidden underneath the base? Yeah, it was under it was under the second base. That's right. All right, and I got one more picture. Lane, this one's specifically for you. What is your first thought when you see this? It's Enrico Palazzo. <laughs> my, thought yeah. is, my thought is Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> ah, I'm so glad you brought that up, Frank, because that actor's name is Mark Holton, who you would also recognize from Pee Wee's Big Adventure. <laughs> the guy behind him was using the, um, the sheen from... Um, Welcome to welcome, oh, or, coming uh, to America. Coming to, to America. America. <laughs> yeah. Hold just, on. Let me go. Dude, let me go. That's not, that's let me not, go back uh, one photo. Gary Curl. That guy. That dude. Yeah. He had the he had the soul glow. Soul or whatever glow. The, uh, <laughs> I love his I love his button chops into his 
huge ass, you know, biker goatee there. That man was rocking it. What are you talking about? Plus the guy with the mullet. Look at the mullet guy. Uh, behind oh, this the, guy? Uh, above the, yeah. Killing that it. That guy living the dream. All right, so Mark Holton, obviously he played Francis. He was the one that tried to steal or did steal Pee Wee's bike. Mm -hmm. And then he was also in, you guys, can you think of any other movies that he was in? Yeah, he was in uh, the baseball movie, um, The Grown Up Boy from League of Their Own. Yeah. Oh, no kidding. You're, You're gonna, gonna live. You're gonna live. He was Stillwell, the older version of Stillwell in A League of Their died, Own. like 15 years ago or something? Nope. I was, and I was going to play that game, uh, Mark Holton, Alive or Dead. Mm. He's alive. Huh. Still rocking and rolling and still playing basketball with the Beavers. Because remember, he was in Teen Wolf! <laughs> <laughs> He's a good character actor. He was like the, the dumpy fat guy that you had in oh, every you know movie. Put a pin in that for a second here. Right. Pin. What was his name in Teen Wolf? Tubby. You're really, you're close. Chubby? It's, it was Chubby. There you go. <laughs> oh, man. It's a double yeah. entendre.